this winter. Yeah. Sure. Good point. Well, he's the uh, foremost expert on all things relating to the classic movie Jaws. And now he's sharing his knowledge with the world in a book you're going to need for your film library. Please welcome <laughs> Dennis Prince here. Dennis, thank you very much for coming on the show today. You got Good a big morning. event tonight. Yes, we do at the Capitol Bookstore uh, downtown uh, and also at the Crest Theater. Um, so we'll be doing a book signing uh, of the new book, Designing Jaws, that uh, I just recently published. Um, and then we'll have the uh, showing, first 45th anniversary showing of the film. The film is 45 years old this year. That's crazy. So we're having a 45th anniversary showing of the film at the Crest Theater uh, immediately following the book signing. That is going to be a blast, yeah. man. I, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking about leaving my house. Which is huge <laughs> it's for this guy. It's a big deal. It's a big six. Yeah. Swim on over. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things are we going to find in the book? So the book tells a different story about the production of the film from the production designers viewpoint mm -hmm. and that's Joe Alves, a longtime production designer. Uh, you would know him probably from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, okay. John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Yeah. Uh, mm. He has a long, long history in production design and uh, he was brought on to do Jaws when Jaws wasn't even published. Peter Benchley's oh. book wasn't even published when the producers, uh, Zanuck and Brown, approached Joe Alves and said, can you do some design sketches for this new book? We think it'll make a good film. And so that started the whole ball rolling. They sold it to Universal. And there you go. That's crazy. One of the things I think is is really great about the movie, and I don't know if it's intentional, is that this thing, this shark that you're afraid of, you almost never see it until the crescendo of the movie. Was that one of those things where they did it because, you know, the way logistics worked and you have to build a robot shark, it might not look that great on film, or was that all a story idea to keep that fear in the back of your mind of what could be lurking under the water? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, of, little bit of both, okay? Yeah. Um, because the, the interesting story about, and you'll hear the, the lore of the shark wasn't working. Well, the shark wasn't given enough time to be developed. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. All other effects technicians said this is going to take at least a year or more to do a practical 25-foot shark in the ocean, okay? Um, but Joe Alves was then tasked to say, no, we want to deliver the shark um, in about four to five months because the book took off and the studio wanted to cash in on the opportunity. Okay. But it made it so much better that we didn't see it throughout the movie. Bingo, the suspense, right? Yeah. Exactly. And the barrels. All of that was scripted, though. The, the barrels and everything wasn't because the shark wasn't working. Let's think of something else. The barrels were scripted. Joe Alves storyboarded all this stuff. Uh, it was all intentional, to your point. Yeah. Um, but then when the shark did pop out, the shark did work. Yeah. <laughs> and actually the shark, 45 years later, is still working quite well. Wow. Right Now, on. this book signing tonight, can yes. we say who's going to be there with you? Yes. So, I'm really happy that <laughs> the shark, no, the shark won't be there with us, unfortunately, in spirit. Um, Joe Alves, the production designer, will be at oh. Capitol Bookstore tonight. Wow. And Greg Nicotero, the effects uh, artist and recently executive producer and director of Walking Dead yeah. is also going to be there since he wrote the foreword for our book. Big time Jaws fan, yeah. Greg is. Wow. Okay. And uh, we both wholly admire uh, Joe Alves. So these two gentlemen are going to be there with us uh, tonight as we sign books, meet some people. Uh, and have a good time. That's good cool. Stuff. So man. it's at the uh, Crest Theater. That's correct. Seven thirty, right? Right. Uh, the book signing at the Capitol will be at six p.m. Okay. Right, and then seven thirty, we'll go in. We'll do a little bit of chat about uh, the film before it screens. Joe will talk a little bit to the audience okay. and attendance, and then um, put on your waiters and get ready to go in the water. Put on your waiters. That's yeah. awesome. Ticket prices between uh, ten and twenty-two bucks. So you, are you thinking about leaving? I, mean, I think I might have to leave the house. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this is a big deal. Love this to is see a big you. Deal. There. I'll tell you, I think I blame this movie for me not learning to swim until I was like 10 or 11 really? years old. Because I was terrified of the water as a little kid right. because scary. of this movie, yeah. Right after seeing it, my family took me to uh, Hawaii. Oh, oh are man. Are you serious? <laughs> serious. Hey, you brought something you in. You brought something I What did. is this? Oh. So this is interesting. So this is an interesting little artifact. This is a piece of shark skin, okay? Not the skin from the actual film use sharks. Okay. There were three film use sharks. And there, there was a. Okay, let's show it to him. So um, pardon me. It. And yeah. then there was a fourth shark. Okay. And the fourth shark was the uh, prop shark that was put up at Universal Studios tour. Oh, okay. So visitors oh, yeah. could come take a yeah, picture yeah, by yeah, this yeah. shark. So this shark was inverted up high. Mm -hmm. okay? I remember that. So okay, this is a piece of the skin from that shark. That's uh, the last that's remaining it. shark. And Greg Nicotero's team has recently restored that shark. Huh. Really? Okay. Yes. They recently they, they stripped it down. This was the original skin that came off that shark. I call the shark bark. 
Shark okay. bark. Okay. Um, <laughs> and Shark so bark. they have totally stripped all this off. They refinished it. It looks beautiful. It's going to be featured at the Motion Picture Academy Museum okay. when that opens oh, cool. later this year. Yeah. Did you had you been to Universal Studios when it was hanging there? I hadn't. I, I, I have hadn't. pictures. Oh, I wish I'd thought about to bring them, but I have pictures of me as a little kid. You know, yeah. probably like, I don't know, five years old, yeah. standing next to this big old shark because my mom thought it was hilarious. Right. And she's like, stick your head. I go, no, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> fine. It'll exactly. be fine. Exactly. That's so man. cool. Thanks yeah. for coming in. We're, it's great to meet you, and I'm so excited. I mean, My this, pleasure. Like, getting to see behind the scenes of, like, this yeah. iconic movie and then hearing the stories and stuff, that's going to be a great night tonight. Good sure. stuff. Yeah. All right. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming Thanks. in.